Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the subject software defined radio and the topic that we are going to see in the first unit is the need for software radios. So the objective for this video would be for that of the first unit. So we will be able to have an understanding in the evolve paradigm of software defined radio. So what is the need for software radios? Due to the emergence of new standards and protocols, so the demand for wireless internet connectivity with quality of service requirements have grown up. So of late, the wired internet have grown at a large pace and that paved the way for wireless internet connectivity. So the wireless internet connectivity is the order of the day and it has got some uh, quality of service requirements as well. So what we mean by quality of service is that we have to have some guaranteed specifications. For example, the time delay will be guaranteed or the speed or the bandwidth will be guaranteed. So with these advancements, so the challenge is to develop a future proof radio. So what do you mean by future proof radio is that so when you develop something so of late in the future in the near future or after say two three years or five years the radios that we have today should not become obsolete at a later point due to the development of standards and protocols. So meaning the radio hardware and software should not be obsolete after sometime or in the future. The integrated seamless global con coverage requires two features. So first thing is global roaming. So you should have the same hardware and software which can be used across the entire globe. So even if you go from one place to one country to another country, you should be able to use the same hardware. So in the say some 20 years back, so you would have heard saying that the mobile phone which was purchased in the foreign could not be used here. The reason could be it would not be able to switch between different technologies. So when we say global roaming, so the hardware or software, the entire radio should be able to uh, able to switch between IS-95 and GSM because it will be supported in different countries. So that is the first point which is global roaming the uh, need. The next one is it should be able to interface with different systems and standards so that it is able to provide seamless service at a fixed location. Say for example a device should be able to interface with both the Bluetooth and also with the Wi-Fi networks. So IEEE 802.11 so the meaning it is Wi-Fi networks. So we have a mobile phone which should be able to connect with Bluetooth and also with uh, Wi-Fi. So for seamless global coverage two features are required. One is global roaming and the ability to interface with different systems and services. That is for a fixed location. So existing technologies for voice, video and data. They use different packet structures, different data types and signal processing techniques. So this uh, necessitates the need for uh, integrated service. So what do you mean by integrated surface is that a single device it should support various services or a radio to communicate with devices providing complementary services. So to perform that the radio has to be communicated and decoded with signals of devices with different air interfaces. So for Bluetooth the air interface is different, for Wi-Fi the air interface is different, for GSM the air interface is different. So, uh, on the like, so it should have different air interfaces. So, air interfaces we mean, so the uh, physical layer would, would support different uh, frequencies and different uh, interfaces. Say, for example, the uh, frequency hopping uh, might be different, or if it is going to be GSM, it is going to be different. If it is going to be 3G, it is going to be different, or Bluetooth, it is going to be different. So, it should be able to support all these things. To manage changes in networking protocols, services and environments, 
the mobile devices supporting reconfigurable hardware also need to be need to seamlessly support multiple protocols so the mobile devices that we have it should have reconfigurable hardware meaning the same hardware should be able to perform different uh, roles at different points so that it is able to support different internet protocols and also different mobile execution environments so this we mean by mobile execution environment and also the radios can have software radio architecture okay so the radio reconfigures itself based on the system interfacing and supporting functionalities so previously the radio that we used to have they used to have only the hardware and some software here we are talking about reconfigurable hardware and also the software architecture should be present so if we take uh, the 2g a second generation we had many incompatible standards so one standard if we have a mobile device with uh, hardware and software it will not be able to support with another standard so to overcome that the third generation it aimed for compatibility with it in its own standards and across generation standards so if you take 3g it will have a range of standards it should be able to support different type of standards in the 3g as well as with the second uh, 2g and other things so if we take uh, the third point so it requires multi mode operation and automatic mode selection uh, so to say an example if we take our mobile so we would be able to say uh, different modes so we'll be able to select whether it require only 2g or 2g and 3g or 2g 3g 4g so that we mean by multi mode operation and automatic mode selection so you can select the automatic mode whether it needs to have the highest mode say whether 4g or 3g if it is available or if both of them are not available it will automatically go for 2g so here uh, it's means by automatic mode selection so 4g if you see so you have the ability to control the quality of service how much speed it requires so any uh, speed requirements or the bandwidth requirements or uh, the time delay all those things will be able to do that with the 4g so now we will see what is a software radio so having uh, got the understanding of the need for uh, software radio so the term software radio was coined by joe mitella in 1991 so it uh, represents a class of reprogrammable or reconfigurable radios so it should be able to uh, reprogram itself or reconfigure the radios here we are going to use the same piece of hardware which can perform different functions at different times when we take the definition by uh, software defined radio forum they say ultimate software radio is a radio that accepts fully programmable traffic and control information and supports a broad range of frequencies air interfaces and application software so the traffic and control information it should be able to uh, accept so meaning uh, the software it should be able to configure itself and also it supports a broad range of frequencies air interfaces and application software so both the hardware and the software it should be able to reconfigure that is what they mean so when you say a software radio so all radios with a microprocessor or dsp does not necessarily qualify as a software radio so since we are able to program it doesn't mean it is a software radio so the radio should define its software in uh, software it should define its modulation error correction encryption process some control over the rf hardware and should be able to be reprogrammed so that is a software radio so which means so most of the functionality should be defined in software and also the hardware should be able to be uh, controlled by the software okay and it should be able to be reprogrammed say for example today i want a different functionality if i want to have a different functionality in the software i should be able to reprogram it so that uh, is a software radio so based on all these things so a good uh, working definition for a software radio would be a radio that is substantially defined in software and whose physical layer behavior can be significantly altered through changes to its software so normally the physical layer uh, behavior and physical layer uh, behavior we mean the actual air interface 
so what is the range of frequencies that it should use or what is the time duration for uh, the bits and what should be the frequency hopping all those things we used to say that at the physical layer the physical layer in general it is uh, controlled by the hardware and that should be able to be uh, altered through the software okay even the uh, hardware should be controlled by a software okay at the physical layer so this is a, a good working definition of a software radio so how much reconfiguration we should have okay so that depends on a complex integration of a number of issues so systems engineering at the overall level we should see what are the issues that we have so that we can have the reconfigurability the antenna form factor so physical layer when you say how much uh, the air interfaces all this thing we have so it depends upon the antenna form factors so what are the different range of frequencies that the antenna can support all those things yeah and the r of electronics radio frequency electronics the baseband processing the speed and reconfigurability of the hardware so at what speed we can reconfigure the hardware and the power supply manager so how much power supply we have so that it can support a uh, different uh, frequencies or different interfaces all this so all these things uh, determine the amount of uh, reconfiguration that a hardware and the uh, software radio supports so software radio generally we say the flexibility we have the flexibility through the software with a static hardware so the hardware is uh, static meaning we will not be able to change the hardware but through software we are having the flexibility we have another term called as a soft radio so soft radio is a completely configurable radio that can be programmed in software to reconfigure the physical hardware okay. so you have a physical hardware uh, which can be configured through a software which is completely configurable radio okay so sometimes uh, software radio also encompass soft radio okay so soft radio is also a term which is used but in general we use uh, software defined radio or software radio so conventional radio so without uh, the software radio so normal radio that we used to have uh, in that the hardware dominates the design okay so we used to we use the software to interface uh, with the other units and only for interfacing we use the software whereas the entire uh, uh, radio is dominated by the hardware so because of which if you want to upgrade something what we have to do is we have to abandon the old hardware and we have to redesign or we have to start from the scratch for the new uh, re uh, functionality but this uh, problem is overcome in the software radio design so in the software radio design when you say upgradation the upgradation means a lot in software only the you need to upgrade the software for implementation of the uh, functionality and the rest is improvements in hardware component design so in at the hardware level you have only the improvements and it is not the entire abandoning of the old uh, hardware so this is a paradigm shift from fixed hardware intensive radio so uh, previously we used to have a hardware which is fixed and it dominates the entire uh, radio so from that we are moving from the conventional radio to software radio wherein we move to multi band multi mode software intensive radio so the most of the functionality is implemented in the software so that uh, is the software radio design so with this uh, we have seen the introduction to software radio thank you